I'd like to draw your attention to an important trial which is happening starting today. It's a political show trial, but you're not going to read about it in the Australian media. It's happening in Turkey. It might seem like a long way away, but the truth of the matter is that we all have a stake in the outcome of this trial. What's happening? 108 leaders of the People's Democratic Party, the HDP, the largest opposition party in Turkey, are on trial in relation to peaceful protests that took place back in 2014 in support of Kobani, the, uh, the, 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 the majority Kurdish city in northern Syria, uh, which was laid to siege by ISIS. ISIS was terrorizing the people of Kobani. The one thing the Turkish government was doing was preventing people from Turkey crossing the border to go and support their sisters and brothers in in Kobani. The HDP, the People's Democratic Party, called for peaceful protests against what ISIS was doing in support of the people of Kobani. These peaceful protests were attacked by Turkish police and unfortunately some people were killed. Uh, the majority of the people killed were protesters. Arguably the majority of the deaths were caused by Turkish police. The Turkish regime, the far-right government in Turkey, uh, is trying to is now accusing the People's Democratic Party of homicide uh, for having called these peaceful uh, protests in support of a just cause. These are completely bogus and trumped up charges, and it's not a new situation. For years and years now, uh, members and leaders of the People's Democratic Party, and I'm talking about here, elected mayors, elected members of parliament, and elected party leaders have all been detained, imprisoned. Uh, put them to these bogus uh, show trials like this one. And this trial in particular is trying to lay the basis for the ban legal banning of the People's Democratic Party, as I said, the largest effective opposition party in Turkey. If you don't believe me that these are trumped up charges, I'd like you to consider the findings of the European Court of Human Rights. Former party co-chair Selah Hatton Dermatash took his unlawful detention to the European Court of Human Rights and they found that the charges were baseless. Quote, not only were the charges against the applicant based essentially on facts that could not be reasonably considered criminal conduct under domestic law, they related mainly to the exercise by him of his convention rights. Further, court finds that it has been established beyond reasonable doubt that the applicant's detention, especially during two crucial campaigns relating to the referendum and the presidential election, pursued the ulterior purpose of stifling pluralism and limiting freedom of political debate which is at the very core of the concept of a democratic society. I'd ask you to do three things. Firstly, please just find out more information about this case and about the People's Democratic Party. This article would be a good place to start. Check out this one as well. There's also this podcast. Links for all of these are in the description. Number two, please express your support on social media. Use the hashtag, hashtag SolidarityWithHTP, plus the hashtag DefendKobani. Uh, these people were original defenders of the of the Rojava revolution back in 2014. Number three, please contact Maurice Payne, the foreign minister, or your local member of parliament, and call on the Australian government to take a strong stand of condemnation against this atrocity, against this bogus show trial. It is important we realise these people are freedom fighters. They they are campaigners for freedom, for justice, for democracy. They're being treated unfairly. Turkey is essentially an alliance in, in alliance with Australia. Australia should not be silent when this injustice happens. Firstly, it's an injustice. Secondly, these people are our brothers and sisters and we need to support them in their moment of need.